today we have here the MC351 Bluetooth amplifier, but also an amplifier that does a lot more. It has optical port, it even has USB audio, it even has the old school RCA plugs or tubes input. And the funny thing is, it is like a stereo amplifier, it also has this view meter. It is a really big packaging, but one thing that really gave me a big, big, great experience is they also include a subwoofer. Uh, connection and even not like those like subwoofer out or pre-out ports no it's really for a passive subwoofer so that gives even with these big argon speakers that are like connected with this fossil audio amplifier it gives a lot more extra bass points with a samsung subwoofer that i have put on this amplifier the overall performance really are very solid you also have like some treble and bass adjustments the only complaint that I could give is that like for example the older models, some of them like the 30 BT something Pro had also sub volume control and even sub frequency control. So you don't have those options on this amplifier. So this does make this one a bit more limited on the subwoofer side on tuning. But luckily you do still have bass control and with the bass control you do can find a sweet spot between the subwoofer bass and of course the Argon speakers. So a few samples so you can see yourself how it is actually performing.
for it's pretty cool amplifier and thanks to yeah supporting a passive subwoofer you have a lot of extra bass performance and everything and with usb audio you have more control with laptops or so and optical is really great for like television solutions and it even still has a pre-out port so you can still push out audio from this amplifier but really if you use this like passive subwoofer solution and i have this like old samsung subwoofer from like some stereo setup it works fine really it's a great overall performing amplifier and of course it's pretty cool with this look on the front but it also stays a bit of a gimmick thing but at least it does give this amplifier a bit more nice look than some other simple amplifiers and Fossi Audio is definitely pushing up their quality. I will also soon have another amplifier on this channel, but that one is a bit more serious on multiple channels, multiple possibilities. So that video will take a bit more time. But really, this Fossi Audio, great one, really. The only complaint that I really could give, as mentioned before, is just that you can't really tune a lot on the subwoofer side. So it's really bass with combination of the bass of the other speakers. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys in the next one.